We are welcoming you to Solar Shed, the sequel, part two. <laughs> We're starting over. <laughs> Welcome back, friends. Last week, we talked about our chickens and rabbits. Uh -huh. But the week before that, we talked about our solar shed. We had all these big plans. We had great plans. For the solar shed. We were going to do a straw bale construction. It was going to be passive solar. Mm -hmm. Now, the only reason that I think this one is better, because they're pretty much the same thing, is that I still have my south-facing wall where we can do passive solar. So that, when you put this over here, it blocks all that sun. So if you keep this side open with your windows, you can still have the passive solar to come in and heat in the winter. You can see, I still have windows on the south side too. This is one gigantic window that you just can't tell because I didn't bother writing the dimensions. <laughs> Back the plans out, we started getting quotes on lumber, and then what happened? And then we completely changed the plan <laughs> again, because yeah. that's what we do. Lumber went through the roof, and so we were just trying to get like the cost for the base, for the yeah. deck of it, and it mm -hmm. was going to be over $3,000. Yeah. And we're like, no, no thanks. This is a tiny building. Right. Like We're, we're yeah. trying to do it all with cash. We're trying to do it as we go, and just yeah. not go into debt building. Yeah, so we decided to rethink all of it. So, we are welcoming you to Solar Shed, the sequel, part two. What are we doing? A friend nearby is doing a hyper adobe house, and so we were able to go over there and see his construction plan. Super cool, yeah. So uh, we've been really interested in this whole earth bag thing mm -hmm. for a long time, right? And we plan to do earth bag domes on the property. Mm -hmm. But he's doing it a little different, and so it's a more like a vertical, like rectangle type building, but it's still built with earth bags. Mm -hmm. And his is more vertical walls with a traditional roof. Right. Right. Which we is is kind of what we were trying to do with the straw bale. So we so we wanted to switch out our walls from straw. earth bag to from straw bale. From straw bale. From <laughs> we're switching from straw bale to earth bag. That's what I was trying to say. Good morning, friends. We have finally decided on our solar shed dimensions. What we had laid out the other day is completely wrong. So <laughs> what we're doing now is a 9 by 14 rectangle that will be intersected by a 10 foot dome. When you add all that together, it should be right at or right under 200 square feet. We've got to redo all this. So we're going to get it laid out and then hopefully we're going to start some trenching today and actually digging in for that first layer of earth bags all around the perimeter. So let's get started. Let's try this again. Welcome to my office. <laughs> With the floor plan finally decided on, it was time to dig the trench for the foundation. Right, our bags are gonna be 16 inches. So mm -hmm. we have dug a trench that is more like 20 inches wide. 18 to 20, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to have extra room just in case. Yeah. Um, so our trench is a foot deep mm -hmm. in most places. Yep. We still have to get a level. Yeah. And, um, 18 inches wide, 18 to 20 inches wide. We will get into more details about actual, like the filling the earth bags and how we're gonna put all that together in when we get to that. later videos. This is just the foundation. So what we did this weekend is we dug that trench. So you have the rectangle and the dome mm -hmm. and they intersect. And so all of us were out there digging, mm -hmm. like all of us. All day. All day, <laughs> two days. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys.
this place. Gotta rock this place. Gotta rock this place. Rock this place. Day one, we're both really tired. That was a lot of work. Yeah. Why didn't we have somebody with a tractor come? Because we're gonna earn our stripes on this one. We're gonna do it by hand. It's actually going faster than I thought it would. Yeah, with all the kids helping, it's, yeah. been, it's been pretty good. So they, um, they slowly dwindled off. Yeah, they're done now. <laughs> oh, nine, nine, seriously. We have the rectangle part, the office part, pretty much close. Dug right? down where yeah. it needs to be. And the circle is like, quarter of the way, Doug. Yeah. So, uh, we'll finish it in the morning. Yeah, we should be able to finish it tomorrow. Yeah. So then what do we have to do? After we get done digging the trenches, we will go get gravel and we're actually going into town this week so we can grab a laser level so we can actually make sure everything's level. Yeah, we want to make sure the foundation is level and mm -hmm. then we were waiting on our earth bags, yeah. I guess. Once the earth bags get here, we can start. Yeah. Man, we're like moving. This is exciting. It's happening. It's happening. I'm very excited. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> so I guess that's, we got some more digging tomorrow and we need to do some more planning. We still got to figure out how the Just dome connects to the rectangle. Well, I know how area. that connects. Like up at the top. I'm confused about the how ceiling. the the roof of the office uh -huh. will intersect with the dome. Right. But I have a good idea. So I, did, I can't draw it out, so I don't know. I think it'll work. I'm pretty sure. We're we'll, gonna, we're, we'll wing it. We're doing some more research this week. <laughs> yeah. As we get into it. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that till we're up towards the top, right? Right. <laughs> we can make it up as we go. Yeah. Listen to me. No plan. Are you excited? Who are you? <laughs> and now it's time for a chicken intermission. Solar shed, day two. We got the rectangle dug out. We're finishing up the circle today. We're hoping to be done early so that we can reward ourselves somehow. I don't know how. How are we rewarding ourselves, guys? We, I don't know I yet. have no idea. Sugar, lots of sugar. <laughs> lots, of sugar. <laughs> Man, lots of drinks. And we're, no. we're dealing with, with puppy here. He's just into everything. Oh my God. All right, let's get it done. Mm -hmm. 
we just had to finish up the trench that we had already started. And then make sure everything was wide enough and deep right. enough because the ground kind of sloped, so it had to be deeper in the back part. Yeah. And now we're just, we're waiting on gravel and bags and a level and all that stuff, which we're picking up very soon. That's it for this week. Don't forget, grab a t-shirt at tinyshinyhome.com slash shop if you want to help support us. That will help us buy windows and doors for this project. Because there's more than just dirt that goes in our earth bag house. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.